Hi Cubers, so I've got this little unboxing today, a uh, little purchase I got from Cube Store UK. So a little collection, really um, looking forward to have a go at. So here we go, so we've got three, oh, one of them's opening up here, got three cubes here by a company called GeoCube. Okay, got all this uh, crazy white packaging here. And what we've got here is a GeoCubes A, B and C. Oh, something else in the packaging. And yes, got the obligatory cube stand. So now, figure out which one is A, B and C. Isn't so easy because the packaging doesn't seem to say which one is which. However, I do know. Got a way to sort of remember this. I did have a look at them online before I bought them. And C. Oh, let's get these out. Let's get these out of the packaging, eh? So we can see what we're looking at. Because really, the boxes are basically all the same. <laughs> these are fantastic. They're really they're just something different, aren't they? It's like a three by three shape mod thing. Oh, gorky, gorky. And, and oh, and each box has their own. Oh, this uh, so GeoCube. I guess it's a subsidiary of uh, Moyu. Because uh, yeah, there you go. Got some more of these. That one quite clearly says Moyu. Uh, obviously, obviously, it's a bit akin to a three by three, like this one here. Yeah. And this one obviously just got two parts. So quite clear, yeah, I guess if you can do a three by three, you can do these. And I don't really know if these are even gonna fit in a cube stand. There you go, yeah, pretty cool, doesn't it? That does look pretty cool, I must admit. Yeah. Oh wow, who would not want a cube like this? I don't think this one's gonna fit in a cube stand. Or will it? Oh yeah, it will. Yeah, magical. Look at that. That's pretty, pretty damn fantastic, I think. Yeah, amazing. Amazing, really, aren't they? What, you know, what a feast for the eyes. Okay, I've had a chance to uh, play around with these, and really, A has got no centres and no actual sides, no full sides. B has got two centres, A, B and two full sides um, and C has got one, A, B and C three centres so there's a bit of a thing there and not just centres, three full sides yeah so here yeah, it looks like a cube doesn't it Whereas here, this, well, these two look very similar but of course this one is the same on the other side but this one is yeah like a full cube so don't have to stick around but i'm going to try and give them a little solve each see how we get on and just uh it's only a guide this isn't a full tutorial so let's uh let's start with a i guess we'll just in fact let's mix them all up because i'm wondering if you can tell the difference when they're all modeled up we're keeping their a b c Bots on their little podiums. Okay. And C. With its three centres and three full sides. Yeah, can we tell can we tell the difference? Oh, I guess so. So, let's uh, just try and do a quick whisper. Now, like I say, I'm gonna do the white on the bottom, you know, so I'm gonna do that first. So I'm gonna be looking for the white cross and uh yeah, so we've got a white, then we've got the orange and blue, so let's get those in first. And I've just found this easier to do it this way, because sometimes you end up with all sorts of parities. Now I can see that there's the orange, so this, this white here, this red, I can put that in place there. Um, there's the orange, doing almost like the daisy here, so those two are correct. The blue, okay, that can come down. Let the red back, but this is just sort of gets you know most of the pieces in place. So I've got the white cross now. What I need to do is put the other the other pieces, and I'm going to just do the layer by layer method. 
Um, I always seem to revert to layer by layer method when I'm doing any shape mods. Um, so. Right, okay. Almost everything there, that shouldn't be there. Is there anything with white? Anything with white on? Get it up here. Right, okay, so that's that's that bottom layer done and quite clearly I need to fill these in. So this is correct, which is great. And orange and blue. Oh no, that isn't correct. That's, see, I thought that was a blue, but it's a green. There's the orange and blue, so that's got to come to here. Let's whack that in. I hope you know how to do a three by three. Should be no shocks here. Oh, we've got blue and red, that's going to come down to here, to where, where there's nothing. It's really quite hard to hold this cube actually, because uh, there's obviously bits where your fingers normally go, they're just not there. Okay, and uh, orange and green, and there's the orange and green, so we're going to put it over here above nothing and bring it down to here. Okay, and just using the layer by layer method here. Okay. And wow, look at that, we've actually really lucked in here. We've got all the yellows on top, so I'm not going to waste any time there. Um, all I'm going to do is get my corners in place. So there's one corner in place. Uh, let's have a look here. See if we can get two corners in place. No. So that one corner's in place, so we need to switch these two. I'm going to do the referee move. Right, front. Right, back, back. Right, front. Right, back, back. All right. Okay, what's that? Oh, that's a blue and a green. That's not good. That's not good. So I'm guessing these two are correct. Oh, that's correct, that's correct. Ah, you know what I think? I think we're hitting into a parity here. This is always something that can happen. So we shouldn't have opposite corners not correct. Let's try and swap these two. All right, run. All right, back, back. All right, all right. Back, back. Let's turn that. What have we got there? Okay, that's correct. That's correct. In fact, no, yep. Yeah. So that's correct now. These two are correct. I'm not worried about these yet. But we've just got this one. So I need this to come here. So right front. Right. Back, back. Right. Front, right. Back, back. Right. Let's see what else we've got now then. Yep. Yeah, so brilliant. All our corners are correct it's just we've got to sort these out and this one needs to come here this one needs to come here so we can do the usual move we do oh, yep there we go what have I done there we go somehow somehow I did it yeah there we go that's white or clear Blue, orange, and everything is correct. Amazing. This is B. So again, we'll start with the bottom because we know we've got a white bottom. And what we've got orange and white here. And so let's try and get that orange and white in for starters, because we know opposite that will be red and white. So I'll take that down there. And then it's always good to have a three by three in case we start getting confused. So we've got the the white, orange, and white, and here should be blue. Right. Yeah. Okay. So just have a little cube in case you start getting a bit disorientated. So that blue should come down here, and obviously you need the green over here. And there it is over there. So let's try and move that out. Green and white. Right. So that's our white cross done, or clear cross done. <laughs> Let's get this blue and orange in. Um, right, that's in blue and red. Green and red. Oh, it's going swimmingly this one so far. Right, okay. Oh, one more corner to go. 
One more corner to go, that's in. Yes. Now, quite clearly. That shouldn't be there. That should be there. So, do we have a... Well, orange and blue has just orientated incorrectly, so... This is so weird doing this without so, so many pieces missing. So here's the orange and blue, put that back in, in a correct orientation. There we go. Anything with yellow should be on the top. So these three should be on the top and not this piece. We need to get that out. Uh. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, the whole thing's turning. The whole thing's turning. Right. Right, orange and green's gonna go into there. So I do the other version of this. This crazy move. There we go. So first two layers done. We need the top to be yellow. And here of course we've got to try and make a cross. We got the cross I guess we got the cross. Well, but we need so we'll do the soon move. And I don't know, we've got I don't know how many yellows we've got on top because these pieces here will still be orientated we just won't know if they're orientated correctly right, no, okay, so we'll try, it, try that again I think this really is just a matter of trial, trial and error but we've got, we've got to somehow try and get the top yellow right, um, uh, right. Yeah, I'm just doing the soon move. Right, okay, we've got yellows on top, so we've got to assume everything is correct. We've got this corner in the correct place. All right, we want this corner to be here. So I'll do that referee move again, and of course trying to do the referee move. Oh my goodness. Right and verse. Oh, front. Right and verse. Back, back. I hope I've got two backs there. Uh, right. Front and verse, right and verse, back, back, two rights. Okay, okay, and look at that magic. Yep, yeah, stick into the old layer by layer method. That's another one. Cracked. Okay, it's number one now. So, um, what I'm going to do is get the whites or the clears, should I say? It's all clear and a green at the two edges. There's only two edges. Here's the other one. Okay. Just double check it. Yeah, red then green. Yeah, always have a something nearby so that you can a cube nearby so you can check the colour orientation. Because it's easy to get confused on here. Right now just get all these whites up here. Okay. Green and White, green, and orange. That's going to be the opposite corner. Of course, the only problem with any of these is just the top layer. The first two layers are generally quite easy. Okay, that's the first two layers done. Nothing else there. Let's get the second layer done. Um, anything without yellow on top needs to come down. So there should only be two of them. Right, that's in place. Uh, that needs to be over here. So we're going to replace that with nothing. Oop. It's easy to accidentally, inadvertently move some of the other pieces that you didn't mean to. Because there's nothing to grab hold of. Right, what do we get? Blue and red here it is. So we need that to go there. And quick as a flash, this should be the first two layers done. Yeah, except we need to get rid of this one, this one shouldn't be down here. So replace that with nothing. Right, now we need to make. Right, let's try and get a. Um, try and get a yellow cross. Oh. 
in that move. Yep, yeah, okay, we've got a line. I don't know if that's a cross. Now we need to try and do soon move to get the whole top yellow up along, down along, up along, along, down. Alright, still got nothing. Let's try again. Right, okay, yeah, we've got the yellow top. Oh, and we've got all the blues as well. Let's get them in place. Oh, and that's it. Well, I sort of lucked in there, really. But I could maybe have had to do some PLLs or um, the referee. Oh, no, this is in the wrong place. Okay, right, so this, everything's correct except this. And this orange quite clearly has to come over here. So I'm going to do UB move. Right, so I'm going to do um, uh, left inverse, upper... Left inverse, up inverse, left inverse, up inverse, um, left inverse, upper, left, upper, left two, and hopefully this will be sorted. There you go, that orange come across there, literally, and that's it, yeah, done, fantastic, okay, hit no parities, that's okay, yeah, but definitely makes you think, and don't these look fantastic? Fantastic! Who wouldn't want these in their collection? Eh? What a set of cubes! I'm in cubes, Stu. You'll be fantastic. Till next time, cubers.